Okay, settle down. We're about to begin. Welcome to ESL, English as a Second Language. We're going to be covering a large array of subjects, from cultural effects, background stories, and experiences dealing with life, identity, and personal morals. At times, I may switch to my native tongue, but don't be afraid. It's only a part of the process. Things may be said that you don't wholly agree with, and that's fine. It's only natural for us as creatures to disagree. The aim is to start a conversation about what's uncomfortable, the unfamiliar, the unknown, and to never stop having these conversations with one another. Feel free to leave now if you think this is not for you. If you choose to stay, be prepared to have an open mind and recognize the conscious decision you've made to stay. Now, are you takers? Okay? So, let's begin. All right, welcome. Bienvenidos a las sesiones ESL, the ESL sessions. Name is JJ. Just want to do a little quick introduction about myself. Um, I'm kind of new to the whole podcast situation, the whole podcast thing, but I'm actually a partial veteran of uh, recording and audio. I actually pursued a career in audio technician as well as a hip hop career, which can honestly say it really didn't go anywhere, but you know, I tried, I tried like most people. Um, but a little bit more about myself. Um, I actually came from Mexico, from Mexico in 1999, and I've been here pretty much ever since. Um, there's a lot of things that I'm going to cover, a lot of things I'm going to be talking about, especially involving myself and a lot of my personal experiences with where I currently am now that led me to where I am, but also talking points and and things that, well, we still experience to this day. So to, to kind of get started, let's let's talk a little, about, a little bit about ESL. What is ESL? So English as a second language, English as a second language, the, the ESL sessions. Uh, why the name? Why ESL? Well, it's it's pretty weird. It's pretty it's pretty generic, but a, a lot of things that kind of made me want to start this podcast is the, my personal experience being in an ESL class. Most of the time growing up thinking ESL was specifically just Hispanic speaking Spanish, learning English. But that whole entire idea kind of shifted a little bit afterwards. I mean, growing up, like I said, I, I, I didn't know any any of the, the other languages that are actually involved in ESL still kind of like a bit of a tunnel vision thinking man you know what we speak spanish it's me you it's her somos nosotros es ella es el estamos unidos like we're literally together in this but it's just specifically to 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 people pe speaking spanish and it actually wasn't until high school where i actually experienced the the other side of esl kind of flipped the coin on me where we actually had a lot of other students that were from different countries people from Pakistan, people from India, people from Thailand, and then a lot of the other things that were just kind of subverted, a little bit of the things that were just kind of like blew my mind a little bit, where, where you really wouldn't think that people came from these countries illegally, people that came from, from different regions. And I'll, I'll cover that subject a little bit more in episode one, but this is more of an introduction. Um, a couple of the cultural things that I kind of want to talk about is how how us as ESLs, as people who, who were a part and have been a part of ESL sh still to this day, kind of have made changes and and shaped a lot of what this this is now our, our current situation. A, a far reaching scope like how how we keep making a difference where where people don't think that we've made a difference mm. a lot of the cultural things that i would never have thought were were driven by by the same people that were a part of esl are are pretty much typically normal now like a lot of people that that we know a lot of people that that have influenced us are not from originally from the United States like myself. 
So that'll be a little bit interesting, especially once I start interviewing people close to me, people in my community about everything and anything. As well, going to be touching on a lot of different subjects that might rub some people the wrong way. But remember, this is my personal opinion. Everybody is entitled to their opinion. It, like I stated in the, the introduction, if, if you're not ready to listen to that, if you're not going to have an open mind, then that's perfectly fine. We're all entitled to our opinion. We're all entitled to our own personal thoughts and things like that. But I think you still have to have an open mind to be able to, to kind of accept that, even though we are all essentially built up about this of, of the same things where carbon we're carbon creatures who are made of skin bone blood and have, have personal thoughts we are all still completely different we all have thoughts and views and, and the way that we grew up is actually a lot of the the things that kind of shape our own personal decisions so that's that's going to be one of those things that we're going to be touching um like I said, cultural effects, how how our own personal cultures, our own experiences have, have shaped us and how we keep shaping everything around us. As well, I'll also be going into interviewing people. When I'm going to be interviewing people, it's going to be really, really wide range. It's going to be very dynamic. And I think I think we need to be open to, to those conversations. We need to be open to to be able to listen to their side of the stories because because everybody has a side to their story. There's as that common saying, there's there's her story, there's his story, there's his story, and then there's the truth. And it, it's it's pretty much based around telling every single side of the story. And forming an opinion and forming a reaction and forming a lot of things. So we'll, we'll keep going through with that and we'll, we'll touch bases on things as, as we go along. So, like I said, kind of want to just give you guys an introduction about things and how, how things are going to happen. Um, and as the subjects get a little bit deeper, there's going to be a couple changes to things here and there. But the, the main focus is going to be the ESL sessions. The ESL sessions are going to be a story driven type of podcast. It's I want you guys to understand that it's not just going to be me talking. It's going to be me giving you a visualization in the best way possible so that way you understand it. It's going to be a book for your ears. So if, if you're ready, we can literally begin at any time. And I want you, you all to be involved. This isn't just for me. This is all for you. Maybe we're all still a little confused about how things are happening, especially right now with the current state of the country, with the current state of the world. And I think we're, we're all ready to kind of give our side, to kind of give our opinion in every single story. So yeah i think think we're ready and so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna proceed from there and i hope you guys enjoy it so this is this is episode zero session zero welcome to esl